people, they need a spiritual life. They need a spiritual life. And who is going to give that spiritual life? The clergyman through the church, I believe. Prayer is actually a source of your energy, spiritual energy. It's good to pray. You have to pray with your heart. It should come from your heart, not from your lips. I was born in Damascus, Syria, and baptized at the local church in Sarkis. I am the fourth uh, son of the family, the youngest son in the family. Uh, I had two sisters and one brother. My mother was so quiet person. That's the reason his name was Aznib. Aznib is kind, means, you know, uh, mostly uh, mother, really, mother. Mother of the house. But father is more active person. My father was preacher, lay preacher. In Damascus, you have that kind of community, you know. They like to pray together. Uh, uh, once a week, they come together, and someone knows the Bible, speak to them. And my father was that kind of person. He's man of the Bible. I was 14 years old when I entered the seminary. I was anxious to go to Melkonian Institute, Melkonia, to be teacher. That's my desire, you know. But the primate of Damascus, his uh, eminence, Archbishop Yeprem Dohmuni, changed my mind. He said, I will send you to seminary. You know, 14 years old, the seminary idea was completely, you know, uh, far. But I was attached to the brotherhood, the Catholic Crusade of Cilicia. I was so uh, happy that I am there. We were about 23 classmates I had. Lots of them left the school, you know, but I stayed. He was like a big brother. And he always looked upon the younger students with love and interest and attention. We enjoyed being friends with him. He was warm and sincere, and he was always ready to help. When I was 14, it was not easy to have the call. But God helps you. God guides you. And he guided me. He guided me. You don't realize that, but God is helping to you, to be inspired. And as I said, you know, Tholis Karekin inspired me. Diran was on the same way. He inspired me. And Shnur Badirak inspired me. The call is, comes and develops in you. So, as I said, I was attached to the seminary. I was attached. And I said, I am ready to be ordained any time that you feel to the dean of the seminary, was Terenik Poladian at that time. I was ready, no doubt. I said, I'm ready to be ordained. And I was anxious to be ordained. I was anxious. And so when they ordained me in 1947, I remember the day Hoike Kalust. Pentecost, May 25th, and Catholicos Karekin Hovsepian was presiding. Our parents came to the ordination. Three clergymen, three parents, and of course, local people from Antillas. Three clergymen in Antillas at that time was really uh, something like a miracle. When I was ordained, I was uh, 21. Uh, so I, I was teacher. Being teacher is not easy, you know. <laughs> no experience. 
հայրեղիշեի եւ իրաշագերտներու հարաբերությունը ուսուցի եւ աշագերդի հարաբերություն չեր այլ մեծ եղբոր եւ բզիկ եղբոր հարաբերություններ մոդիգություններ մարտամոդեր զվարտախոսեր եւ այդ ցեւով մեզ գաբաձեր իրեն I moved to the United States 1951 America was completely different completely different generation serving in the parishes um Diran Serpazan was of course great person as a primate he invited me it was not easy financially at that time but again life was actually bright in the parishes i served 30 years in this diocese 30 years 30 years during this period that i served so many parishes for four years we worked together as the pastor and assistant we did a lot of interesting programs together and our friendship and our cooperation grew and was was intensified he was able to understand people as he said by looking into their eyes and he when he was giving advice uh, to people especially young people he was speaking with wisdom suddenly i got a telegram from his holiness uh, vaskem first are you interested to go to uh, England and I said I am interested he said come to Ismiazin in february to be consecrated as a bishop on february 14 1982 i was consecrated a bishop at the cathedral of Ismiazin by his holiness waskem first and elected to serve as primate of the diocese of great britain i was retired 2003 i said i better go to um, united states and help the primate if he needs me you know to have badarak and karos many churches and i did it i'm doing to the state when father Daniel asked me to go to seminary to help him. I said it's good to be with the students at the seminary, you know. The students, you know, they come to me, they ask questions uh, to learn from my experience, uh, my past life. So and to speak Armenian with them. He really is a father in this community, a father to the students, to to all of us that serve here, that work here. He's a remarkable man of God. I feel like I can discuss issues with him as a father and uh, and he listens. When you don't do anything, you lose your energy. You know you become uh, actually lazy person. But when I badarak or karos, I enjoy that. It gives me new nourishment, spiritual nourishment. I go to church and I see the people. I am inspired at moment. I'm inspired and suddenly you know the ideas come in my mind and I talk there was even a time at St Vartan Cathedral when after Surpazan spoke with his passionate uh, gestures that people stood up in the sanctuary which is very unusual and actually started applauding and it was it was uh, it was quite a moment the people inspired me in the church the people inspired me he has maintained the dignity of his priestly function being always aware of the sanctity and the importance of his being a servant of the lord always it's good to be example because they look for you you know they like to have something from you who is going to give that example the clergyman you are the pastor of the church you have to help the people because they need your help they need your help and i am happy that i'm clergyman 
very happy. If I come to second time to the world, I become clergyman. I like to help the people. I like to help. Going to the hospital when they need me, or at family house, you know, when there is something that uh, you are actually uh, needed, that's important, that you have to give yourself. Dedication is a beautiful thing. Dedication is come from your heart. You cannot buy from outside. Dedication is something that, you know, born in your life. So as far as you know, to the those things. İşte asfaz gokne. Gokne'm işte. Adırşat gav adam. Betçe husadil genk imeç. Not to, to be discouraged. Always having hope. Hope and hope. That's my philosophy. Huş. Huş ye huş.